Hey guys, so today we're going to make three different hamster treat or food combinations that's very healthy for them. And first you're going to want to get three plastic containers with tops. Um, and then you can write on the containers or you can put a piece of paper. Um, this, the first one is going to be a mixture of vegetables. The second one is going to be a mixture of chicken and cheese. And then the last one is going to be some fruit and some oatmeal with um, some milk in it to stick it together. So here's the first one, the fruit, the veggie one. You're going to want to have your carrots, broccoli, tomatoes, and peppers. Um, you can see I have a lot more carrots and broccoli than I have tomatoes, and that's because my hamsters just um, really enjoy carrots and broccoli versus tomatoes. I mean, they still like tomatoes, they just like those better. So what you're going to want to do is wash all your vegetables, and then you're going to want to cut them up very, very, not very finely. Like, what you also could do is put it in a food processor, but I don't like them that small. Um, so just chop them up to the size you, you want. Okay, you guys, so we basically, um, chopped up all of the vegetables and put them in here and started going around. Um, but here's a tip for the tomatoes. Um, you want to cut the little ends off that have a little, um, black dot on them. And then tomatoes are really, really juicy and they have this really good juice on them and you don't want to lose that juice all over your cutting board. So what you can do is make sure, like, see this one is all like floppity. Um, compared to this one has a juice in it. Make sure you cut the end off so you can see those, the little holes. And then just squeeze it over your mixture. And then all the juice will already be in your mixture. So then when you go to cut this tomato up, there's nothing inside of it, so you won't lose all the juice. So then just cut the down the tomatoes up and put them in there. And make sure you mix all of this together really well. Okay, so here's the mixture. It's just all mixed up. Um the tomato juice really um kinda makes it all stick together. But um what I'm going to do, which you don't have to do, um, is add just a tiny bit of milk. Um, it helps it stick together, and my hamsters really enjoy having a little milk. Just a little bit, and then you can put the top on, and shake it up. And yeah, I know this is a lot, but I have 13 hamsters, and this can last me a little while. Because I'm gonna be, I'm gonna show you today how to make three different kind of kinds of mixtures, but you really should only give your hamster maybe one a little bit of one a week because they are very very different from their regular food. Um so that's that one for veggies. The next one is the fruits and oats. And this one is really easy. What you do is you take a thing and then you're going to take Quaker oats. Just a regular oatmeal. And then you're gonna take any kind of fruits your hamster likes. Because this is kind of going to be like a little sweet one. Um, you're going to take any kind of fruits your hamster likes. Um, my hamster is like apples. And I have this, um, I have this raisin and nut mixture. This is actually a hamster treat. You don't have to use actual hamster treats for this. You can put, um, you can just get regular raisins from the store. Um, and then I'm also going to put some dried strawberries and a little bit of sugar. So, you're going to want to put some oatmeal, and then you're also going to use milk to bind it together. You're going to put some oatmeal in here. And this is really good for, um, all these are really good for hamsters that are pregnant or anything like that. Um, because they're really healthy. Then you're going to take, um, some of the fruits. You can chop them up if you want. Um, 
I'm going to chop these up because they're kind of big. And I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so I've added the um, raisins, strawberries, and apples, and a little bit of sugar. Um, the sugar is a nice contrast to the sourness of the apples. And then what you want to do is mix it up. Um, I've added um, quite a bit of apple, so there's not that much. There's not that many oats, so you can always add more of those. And then you can add just a pinch more sugar because hamsters don't need a lot of sugar. Um, and then you can Um, but you can mix it up. You can just mix this up. And you can either leave it like this or add water or milk. It will really get the oatmeal. And I'm going to add some milk and a little bit more sugar. And this is really healthy, so I'm going to be giving this to a pregnant hamster. Um, if you have a pregnant hamster or a nursing hamster or babies, you can give this to them along with the veggies mix the veggies mixture or the next one. Um, but I would not recommend giving it to them all of the three mixtures to them in a short period of time because you don't want them to get used to this and not eat their regular food. Okay, so this is pretty well mixed together. I'm just going to add a little bit more milk. Because this one is primarily for my pregnant hamster. And this is her first litter, so I really want her nice and healthy and strong. Okay, so that's this one, and you can add whatever you really want to it, whatever your hamster likes. Um, you can add more veggie, more um, fruit if you want, or you can add different fruit, or you can pretty much add whatever you want. Um, this is this one is has a little bit a lot of oats in it, so I'm going to add a little bit more strawberries. Just mix them in. And there you go. There's that one. Okay, you guys, so here's the last mixture. Um, it is just a regular rotisserie chicken. Um, make sure you don't use a lot of the skin because this one is really fatty. Um, and then it just has some um, cheese mixed in. Um, I use strain cheese because my hamsters really enjoy it. Um, and then it just has milk. Um, this isn't a lot, as you can tell. Um, because I don't plan on giving any of this to my, any of my hamsters other than my pregnant hamster for right now. But, so that's how you make veggies, fruits and oats, and chicken and cheese. So, I hope it, it um, helped you out.
and if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching.